Let me just tell you this really quickly before you click off the video. This is not another video about what lip colour attracts the opposite sex. It's not about what eye colour you need to have or what symmetry angle of your face is perfect to class you as attractive. In fact, this video goes beyond all things physically attractive and it will dive deeper into the psychological things that can actually make you less attractive. My name is Anna and if you are ready to find out some deep truths, then stay tuned. Sleep deprivation. Okay, so maybe this tip is a little bit about how you physically look, but it's an, well, it's an easy fix, isn't it? Now, people can tell when you have not been sleeping very well because obviously you've got the bags, you've got the veins, the red eyes, all this jazz underneath, and people will know that you haven't been sleeping and they will see you as very unhealthy and very stressed, and these naturally turn us off from people. So if you happen to see someone at the office and you think they are very attractive and then you can notice that they haven't been sleeping well, well, you're not wanting to hang out with someone that can't sleep, are you? Being physically distant. Now, science has told us that the more exposure we have to something, well, pretty much anything, the more we begin to like it. So you may be wondering sometimes why you first hear a song on the radio and it sounds awful, but then you hear it's number one worldwide. Now, it turns out a lot of pop music uses the same similar chord progressions and melodies throughout the verse, the chorus and the bridge. And obviously our brains love repetition, so the more we hear something, the more we like it. So if you're avoiding a certain part of the office, not attending work nights out or avoiding to sit next to your crush on transport because you are anxious or maybe because you don't want to come across that you do like them, well, it's killing your attraction. You need to be around people frequently so that they like you more. However, don't force yourself onto people because otherwise you are much too clingy. If people can see you regularly, then this is great news. However, if you force people to engage with you, they will be turned off super quick. Now, let me give you some examples here. This could be asking too many questions on Messenger, always asking for people's advice. Basically, forcing yourself onto people is a huge turn off and it will make even the most physically attractive person knock down a couple of levels on their attraction score. Now, you can come across as very, very needy and insecure if people feel that they need to offer you constant emotional support. They will get bored of you quickly. Or if you outstay your welcome when you go to people's houses or when you hang out with them and you do not get hints that people are wanting to end a conversation with you and you continue to stay around or continue talking, well, this is going to lower your attraction. You act too cold. If you were trying to play it cool and not let on to your crush that you like them, well, it could actually backfire on you. Now, this also applies to any relationship that you have with someone, including your dentist. If you give the impression that you are cold, hard to talk to, unapproachable, and hardly crack a smile, you lower your attraction to people. Now, let's be real here. If you come across distant and mean, no one is going to want to approach you. And instead, you should be using open body language, smile as often as you can, and really try to engage with people first and make them feel that you are interested in them. If people think that you like them, they will be much nicer to you. And vice versa, if people think you don't like them, they will be much ruder to you. Letting a person know too much too soon. We all love the thrill of the chase when it comes to dating and not knowing if you really have someone's full attention and you are unsure if they like you, it's really exciting. Now, if you play this correct, you become much more attractive to the right person and if not, well, you lost that attraction game. Now, don't let that person know too soon that you like them. You have to keep them guessing and you have to stay very mysterious. Serious. Let them think that you like them a little bit, but just leave them guessing. Now, a great way to do this would be to touch the person, say, on the arm or the shoulder whilst you are talking to them, and then pull back a little and stop the touching and don't come on too forceful. And if, however, you tell the person straight up,
not that you like them, well, this comes across pretty weird and yes, you can do as much flirting as you want after that, but you will appear much less attractive. Now, this tip also applies to how much information you tell your crush about you. Now, it doesn't matter if it's your first date or your fifth date, don't verbally vomit your life to them at the start. Hold back on that information overload and remain mysterious and keep your date guessing and asking you more questions about you. You go on boring dates. You might not be aware of this, but you need to be thrilling and engage that fight or flight response just a little bit to get a rush of blood going to the head. Now, a perfect example of a thrilling date could be a firework display, riding go-karts or even a scary escape room, which is my personal favorite. Now, something that heightens the senses will make you and your date feel alive and you can build those bonding hormones quicker because you become much more attracted to each other. However, if you just just go on coffee dates to a restaurant or just watch a movie together, you are sacrificing how attractive you actually appear. Now, obviously, this doesn't mean that you should throw away the romantic candlelit dinners. It just means you need to mix the dates up, do something thrilling, something soothing and romantic, something thrilling, exciting, so on and so forth. You are a negative Nancy. Now think about someone in your life or even a character from a movie, from a game or a book that always complains and you will think, oh gosh, yes, they're not attractive. Nothing seems to go right for them and they always seem to be stuck with problem after problem after problem. Now look, we can all complain about our lives pretty much, well, any time of the day and we will always have things going on that are stressful. But that doesn't mean that you should air out your laundry to people. Now, if you are constantly negative, well, you just become a huge turn off. And instead, you need to find the positives or at least the humor in everything so that people don't feel it's awkward to talk to you because they always feel like they have to feel sorry for you and they feel they have to comfort you. Now, I get it. You're probably doing this to get them to give you attention, but it really doesn't work. You depend on your friends too much. If you are always seen in a group of people, it goes to show that you do not have much independence. If a date calls you and your girlfriend always happen to be in the background, he's gonna be thinking, this is pretty weird, she's never on her own. Or if you hang out in a bar and it's a group of the boys, don't expect a lady friend to walk up and introduce themselves to you when you have this array of people standing around you. Remember, you need to show signs of independence Independence. And it could be that you come across very vulnerable if you were not actually with your friends who give you that confidence boost. So try and arrange dates and do things or approach a person in a club, a pub, wherever it is, without having your friends very, very close by. And that was psychological things that can make you less attractive. So if you have noticed, oh, you know what, I actually do a couple of these things, well, now is the time to do that inner work so that you can become the best version of yourself so that you are just flourishing with attractiveness. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. My name is Anna, you are wonderful in every single way and I appreciate you and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.